let us now get into the new topic that is about design of bunkers and silos this is actually the figure of a bunker or silo so even they look like this even they look like in a similar way but uh, some differences are there let us see what are those differences so actually here uh, generally the uh, we prefer a conical bottom because it is easy to access so it is easy, easy to fill up and easy to with uh, draw the materials from the here so first in first out so in this process it will work so let us see uh, some theory part here about the design of bunkers and silos let me read the points here bunkers and silos are the structures used for the storage of materials like grains cereals coal cement etc so actually these are storage bins so you see here second point says both bunkers and silos are commonly called as bins storage bins bunker let us see what is bunker if the depth and breadth of the bin are such that if the plane of rupture meets the surface of material before it strikes the opposite side of the bin it is called as shallow bin or bunker so see here in this figure it says this is the angle of repose so you know very well angle of repose is the material which will be stable up to some angle after this if the angle increased by this so the material will slide up to this it will not slide so that is called as angle of repose this is the plane of rupture if it fails the fail uh, the failure plane will be in this manner so here you can observe this plane of rupture is not uh, touching the other side of the wall this is not touching other side of the wall when it is starting from corner of this wall so in this cases we call, we can call this as a bin sorry a bunker if it is not see here a plane of rupture is meeting the other side meeting the other side then this case in this case we call it as a silo this is a bunker this is a silo that is the difference see here i will read the point again if the depth and breadth of the bin are such that if the plane of rupture meets the surface of the material here it is meeting the surface of material before it strikes to the opposite side of the bin then it is called as shallow bin or bunker silo if the plane of rupture drawn from the edge of the bottom of the bin does not intersect the surface level of the material then it is called as a deep bin so even if it is touching other plane before it touching the before it touches the top surface of the material i mean the surface of the material here generally a bin may be set into a silo if the depth is greater than twice of the breadth generally we take the consider, uh, our consideration is like this hoppers are rectangular bins with the bottom floor consisting of four sloping sides so it is having four sloping sides rectangular bins hoppers are rectangular bins here this way as it is section we can see like this so for it has four sloping side this is the sloping side so it has four sloping side as it is a rectangular one see here next point the, in the bunkers side walls resist lateral pressure and the total load of the material is supported by the floor of the bunkers see here side walls resist the lateral pressure and the total load of the material is supported by the floor of the bunker if you observe if you observe this the entire uh, the weight of the material is being obeyed by this part so we have to design this part carefully because entire part is bearing be, uh, the load is being uh, being imposed by this hopper see here that is what it says it is the lateral uh, so the side walls la uh, resist lateral pressure uh, predominantly the total load of the material is supported by the load which is uh, i mean the load which is acting downward will be supported by this hopper bottom the inten next point the intensity of lateral pressure on the sides is determined by the rankine's theory we use rankine's theory in order to find out but here as we are talking about the lateral pressure 
we have to take uh, the theta is equal to the phi angle of repose we shall see that in design part so but remember we are using in order to find out the lateral pressure we use the rankings theory see here a structure will be classified in as silo if h is greater than b tan 90 plus phi by 2 phi is here angle of repose b is the breadth of the bin h is the height of the structure if this case satisfies then we call it as the bin is called as a uh, silo if it is less than or equal to that we can call it as a bunker it is a small video uh, just introducing about the bunkers and silos let us in the next video we shall see the design uh, guidelines for circular i mean cylindrical bunker thank you